guys this is Saurav from plexacademy.com and welcome to my UI path tutorial series and this is the uh, introduction part of UI path and in this video I'm going to give you the introduction of UI path what is UI path and why we use UI path um, um, then I'm going to demonstrate you uh, uh, demonstrate you with one artifact uh, uh, which process the simple uh, simple which have a simple automation uh, but before going into UI path uh, I hope you all knows uh, you have all have a basic knowledge of RPA system robotic process automation because UI path is a part of RPA it is always good to have a little bit knowledge of RPA system if you don't have knowledge of RPA system it is my recommendation to please google it and read about RPA system you will get a lot of tons of uh, articles over RPA in Google. Uh, please read it. Um, so you will have a fair idea why UiPath is used and where UiPath is used. Uh, um, for for quick introduction of your uh, RPA system is uh, uh, in a in a company or industry uh, you have a process which you are following, uh, which your user is following. Uh, the process may contains uh, contain like uh, invoice or order generating order generate generator uh, invoices like this uh, user is copying the data from one Excel and in another application it is generating the order now these uh, generating an order or copying data from one place to another or one application to another application is not a very um, not very uh, big deal uh, uh, it's not very big deal means we can automate this process we can uh, we can train our system or we can train our computer in such a way that it uh, perform the same user action by like copying the data from one application and pasting it in another application and generating the order so this is all RPA about this is all robotic process about to automate to automate the process what the user is performing I hope you got the uh, little bit idea of RPA systems so now what is UiPath uh, UiPath is also a part of RPA RPA have a lot of different tools uh, like Blue Prism uh, Automation Anywhere and then recently UiPath uh, it is in great demand uh, um, it makes you development very easy uh, this is the UI path studio as you can see in this we have a workflow uh, like this we we have activities we have a uh, this is a toolbar and in toolbar all the activities are there like click double click right line we need to drag and drop uh, activities like this and then we create a workflow now what this workflow will do uh, after de uh, after developing a workflow we only need to run run the activity uh, run the artifact then UiPath automatically will perform the uh, perform the action like suppose I have uh, I have created this activity uh, this artifact where you're opening a browser you're copying um, I will give I will show you first the manual uh, manual process and this is just uh, in the manual process use going user is going to open Internet Explorer then it's going to Google just hold on a second I will cut new tab okay it is going to google.com then in a Google search bar bar it is typing nifty enter it is taking the uh, rate today's rate copying the data opening notepad and pasting the data over here excuse me so 
so this is just a simple process um, uh, this is literally very simple process there's nothing there is no not a rocket science over here uh, so this is just for uh, quick demonstration uh, of UiPath so I have created a workflow for, uh, in UiPath. Uh, I have this sequence. Inside this sequence, I have all the activities which will do the same task what I have already shown you in the manual uh, as a manual process. Mm, I, in, a, in a further uh, videos, I am going to explain you one by one all those activities and everything. So uh, because this is just an introduction, introductory video. So uh, I'm stick. I'm stick with that. Uh, I'm just going to run. Now see, right now I have nothing. No windows open. Uh, nothing is open. I'm just going to run the robot. Now UiPath will perform the same action. Uh, what I have shown you uh, in the manual process. First, it is going to open the browser. Internet Explorer it is going to Google typing nifty copying data opening notepad and typing the uh, data on a notepad done So as you can see we we automate this process. I don't need to do any any uh, any uh, action I just only need to let me just quickly close all this uh, windows. I just only need to run the activity, run the artifact. I have I have created an artifact. I have developed uh, my workflow once, and I am running it again and again. So this is pretty much uh, time saving for me, um, um, because this is just a, uh, if uh, th this is just a very small process. What I have demonstrated you. So you will not maybe you have not got the the bigger idea, but suppose you have the Excel or uh, in a company comp in a company you have data in a in a thousands of uh, and lakhs of uh, records or invoices or Excel you're copying each and record and you're pasting in another uh, application and generating the order then you will see the difference. Then you will see. Then you will understand what really the automation is. So that's it, guys. Uh, just one more, uh, one more thing. Um, uh, I have this website blog, uh, plexacademy.com. Uh, just let me. It's pretty good website. Uh, it's a technical blog. Uh, you can just go uh, if, you, if there's a uh, UI path um, is also there. If you want, if you have any doubts and all on UI path, you can just go and create a topic on that. We are sure we are going to help you on that. So right now we don't have any forum. It is just now created. So uh, uh, there is no no to not much topics are there and nothing is there. Just uh, if you are facing any problem, uh, because if right now if you are going to Google about UI path, you will not got you will not not get too much uh, material on that because it's a pretty new technology. Uh, everyone is learning um, learning this new technology. So please go and visit my plexacademy.com and write your forum, write your comment and register yourself over there. Uh, so that's it guys. Uh, 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 in the later and the further videos, I'm going to cover all the all the activities, all the options available in UiPath. So please uh, stay with me. And uh, I will see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.